Direct TV is popular because it's cheaper than cable TV. Their monthly rates are significantly less. But Glenda Lewis shows us one downside so you don't waste your money. Satellite TV services like Direct TV are great until you try to cancel them. The Better Business Bureau has thousands of complaints from people having trouble ending their relationship. One woman has been trying since Christmas to cancel hers. Chris Gilligan has been trying to cancel Direct TV for five months. Just basically throw it all in a box, mm -hmm. the tote, make it easy. She followed all the instructions to cancel and ship back her receivers, but every time she tries to exit, they pull her back in, as Michael Corleone said in The Godfather. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Direct TV used to send boxes with labels to departing customers. Now, though, this letter tells you just to bring everything to a UPS store. To pack up your boxes, your equipment, throw it in a box, a tote, whatever, and just take it and they'll scan it, and UPS and FedEx will do everything for you. Chris says she followed all the instructions, but then ran into a huge problem. Because her account had been disconnected, the UPS store couldn't find it and couldn't print her return label. They couldn't find my account. They had deactivated it. She then got a bill for $287 for non-returned equipment, but she couldn't pay it even if she wanted to. Even when I go in to try to pay the bill, if I was going to pay the bill, I don't even have an account. But they're still charging. They're still charging me the $287.56 for the equipment. So we contacted AT&T, which owns DirecTV, and within hours, Chris received an email promising to make things right. But AT&T forums have similar complaints from other customers saying the new return policy may not have all the bugs worked out. If you run into a problem returning your equipment, don't tuck it away and forget about it, or you may be drawn back in. I'm Glenda Lewis, back to you.